Every day in America, tens of thousands of people are testing positive for the coronavirus. But there still isn't enough testing going on. That's been true from the beginning of the pandemic. And we now know it's not enough to test only people who have symptoms, because as many as 40% of those who are infected with the coronavirus will never have symptoms. We're in a tough situation, but we can't give up. We have to use all our knowledge and ingenuity to fight this virus. At Scripps, we've pioneered using wearable devices for disease surveillance, like influenza and now COVID-19, with Dr. Jennifer Radin and colleagues doing some path-breaking work. We've shown that Fitbit data can help predict outbreaks of influenza-like illness. With our DETECT study, we set out to determine whether we could do the same thing with COVID-19. Last spring, more than 30,000 people volunteered for DETECT, sharing data from their Fitbits, Apple Watches, and other wearable devices. Nearly 4,000 reported symptoms, and more than 300 were tested for the coronavirus. We found that by combining symptom reports with wearable data, we were better able to predict who would test positive for the coronavirus compared with looking at symptoms alone. This is really an exciting result. It shows that passive, continuous monitoring with devices like Fitbit and the Apple Watch might turn out to be an important public health surveillance tool for COVID-19, especially in a time when we simply don't have enough tests or at enough frequency with enough turnaround of the results, this might be a way to identify and isolate the individuals who are infected. We're just getting started with DETECT. We have so much more research to do, and that's going to require many more participants. I'd love for us to have 100,000 or more people. That would give us the data we need to take this to the next level. If you have a wearable device of any kind, please consider joining our DETECT study. There's no cost, and it's so easy to participate. Visit detectstudy.org to get started. Together, we can fight this virus and win.